What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mod Am Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a brand new WWE action figure video for you guys. And today, we're going to be diving into some of the problems or some of the things that you might have missed regarding the new WWE action figures that we saw at Ring Fights. Uh, uh, at Ringside Fest 2020, if you guys checked out all the reveals and all the epic stuff, Mattel absolutely killed it, Brad. They absolutely killed it. There's so many great figures that are coming soon that I cannot wait for. But there are some things that I noticed about them or some things that are inaccurate or some things that I would like to see changed. And they may change. Some of the things in this video may be, you know, changed upon release. But at the moment, at the time we're seeing them, this is stuff that is, you know, wrong. These are things that are wrong with the figures or that are inaccurate about the figures. And I want to point them all out to you guys just in case you not only missed them or something. Something didn't catch your eye and you're like, oh snap, Brad, I didn't notice that. Probably don't want to grab that or maybe I'm going to have to make this plan to fix it or whatever. But let's go ahead and dive in, guys. The first one that we're going to start off with is one that I've already mentioned before. And that is going to be the fan vote Seth Rollins from WrestleMania 35. You guys have seen the figure. One thing I will say straight up is I don't think that the gold's the most accurate on this figure. I'm not tweaking the gold. You know, the gold's fine or whatever. If, if you like this gold, if you think whatever, I don't really mind it that much. I still think it works. I'm just saying in a perfect world, I would like to see the gold a little bit lighter. Maybe maybe the gold should look like it did on his cash-in figure or his uh, Elite 45 Seth Rollins figure. But the thing that I'm going to call out is the left wristband or the left wrist gauntlet or whatever you want to call it. If you guys will look at the left wristband, it has black. It's solid black. And on the right one, it has black with gold outlines, much like we have seen with other figures in the past with this figure. Uh, I don't think we've ever seen gold, but we have seen, you know, we've seen white and silver from the Elite 45. We've seen the uh, white and red from the SummerSlam. We've seen solid gold from the... WrestleMania 33 Elite 57 set. So this is weird to me that uh, on the left wrist tape, it's completely black, but in the actual studio shots of the images from the event, he did wear a black and a gold gauntlet. So I'm not sure if on the specific night that they captured these studio shots, he only had a black wristband on the left side, or maybe he wore a solid black. I don't know what the case is there, but I just wanted to notice that wouldn't you guys rather have two, you know, gauntlets that look alike, or at least the black and gold would look much better? And he's supposed to have both of them on, so I'm not sure Again, if the studio shots they used as reference, he only had on one. I'm guessing that's the case. Maybe that's the case. But the PNG that I found of this attire does have him in both black and gold gauntlets. So that's one of the things I wanted to point out to you guys and let you guys know about. The next one is probably the one that I'm most irritated about or the one that I'm really not enjoying the most. And that is going to be Edge, guys. The Elite 83 Edge. Now, this one actually has not only one, not two, but actually three or four issues with it, which we're going to get into right now. So you guys know the Elite 83 Edge is going to be based on the WrestleMania 36 attire and his backlash gear where he took on Randy Orton in both of those different matches. Now the first thing you'll notice about the figure is probably the torso, right? This is the same Edge torso that we've seen a hundred times and we've seen it on all his different figures. That may be why they didn't want to change it, but since he got in the gym, man, he put on some good muscle, he cut up, he lost a ton of weight. Not a ton, but he lost a significant body fat percentage and he, he worked hard, man. I think that he definitely deserves a Randy Orton, Dolph Ziggler or Seth Rollins torso on this guy. They did say that he will have chest chest hair, but they did not say the torso would change. So this is the figure we're going to get, except it is going to have some chest hair on it, which I think needs to be switched out for sure. We talked about this before, but that is completely inaccurate to what he looked like. You guys will know by the images, he's he's more ripped up. Not only is he missing that, guys, but D Freedom 30 on Instagram pointed out, and I noticed it too, I just couldn't figure out what it was, but the R on the center of his trunks right here on the crotch piece, that R is actually supposed to be slightly tilted on not only the gray attire, but also the black, green, and red, or the Guns N' Roses attire attire that I call it. I don't know why I call it that. It just reminds me of Guns N' Roses. Leave me alone. But seriously though, the R on the crotch is supposed to be slightly tilted and the torso needs to be switched out. And not only those issues, I think the flame decals on his kick pads are, are not the most accurate to the actual designs that he actually wore in the ring. And his feet on the gray attire are supposed to be chrome. Like his shoes that he wore in that match were silver. Now it's not the biggest deal. Again, I'm just showing you the inaccuracies with the figures that we're getting. And uh, since I'm a huge Edge fan and since this is a figure I'm really looking for, or two. I really want this figure to be as accurate as possible. So we are going to do some surgery on this guy for sure, especially with all these things. I doubt I'll be able to switch out the R, you know, the R on the crotch, but maybe the other things will be completely fixable. And the last thing that's wrong with this figure, guys, is his, uh, I think it's just his right hand and maybe both hands, but I know for sure his right hand was taped up with black tape, and that is something that DFreedom30 also pointed out. So shout out to DFreedom30 on Instagram, guys. He always provides a lot of great info about WWE action figures and inaccuracies, where they're from, what they're captured by where they're inspired from so he does an excellent job on that so definitely go follow him but both of these figures had to be on my list and they are going to definitely be fixed up this this is two of the figures that i'm looking
looking forward to going into 2021 because this is Elite 83. We're not going to see it until the new year. So, but I am really, really excited for them. So not only do we have Edge guys, but we also have Elite 83 Trash Corbin. Now this one isn't the biggest deal. And I will say, I appreciate their attention to detail on the chest, how you can see the tattoo coming up behind the, the you know, the black tank top. But for sure, guys, this torso does not do it for me for Trash Corbin. I think that it'll probably look good in figure form, but he's definitely not that cut up. Like you can see that it looks like he has abs. This is a Dean Ambrose torso. And I think he has a little bit more body fat percentage than Dean Ambrose, than Jeff Hardy, than, you know, other guys that have used this torso before. So that is just something I wanted to put out there. Not the biggest deal. I think this is probably one of the least ones. I think this figure is actually going to be really nice in person, even though it is Trash Corbin. But I did want to point that out. If you guys agree with me, let me know down in the comment section below. This torso is definitely too ripped up to be Trash Corbin, but, uh, you know, they don't make one of one sculpts for every character. So I definitely understand it, but uh, I would have liked to seen a bigger, fatter torso than a t-shirt over it or something something like that. Moving forward, guys, we have Karrion Cross in the house, or Killer Cross, or whatever the hell you want to call him, Brad. We have Karrion Cross right here, and the Elite 85 figure. I, I feel like a lot of people have been telling me this is Johnny Gargano Syndrome, and I can't tell if this is Johnny Gargano Syndrome or if this is going to be kind of like Seth Rollins kick pads, because it doesn't look as short as Johnny Gargano figures, and I'm not looking at them side by side. I'll pull them up side by side in the video so you guys can see the render image of Johnny Gargano and what he usually looks like, and then this figure, and you guys can let me know uh, if they are actually the same size and length. If he does have Johnny Gargano syndrome, that is very unfortunate. And it's not actually something that's very hard to switch out because uh, Johnny Gargano's are hard to switch out because his kick pads in the top of his, you know, the, the his lower legs usually have like some wacky design and you have to get rid of that design. For these, they're solid black. So that's actually going to be something that you can really easily, uh, you know, fix. You could put like top talent Seth Rollins lower legs. You could put Finn Balor lower legs. You could put AJ Styles lower legs. There's so many different solid black kick pads and lower legs you can put on this guy to fix the the Johnny Gargano syndrome, if indeed it is Johnny Gargano syndrome. And I think it's hilarious how you guys have been commenting on ringside posts and people that share this photo and say Johnny Gargano syndrome. So Johnny Gargano syndrome, the term that we have created here on the channel has run rampant through the community. And I think that's freaking awesome. But there is Karrion Cross. Another figure, guys, is going to be the Elite 85 Undertaker. Now, one thing I will notice is these hands are molded in complete black. And I think on that night, he actually did wear solid black gloves. Now, this isn't the biggest deal. Uh, it's just going to be sculpted in the Undertaker sculpt. They could change it, by the way. You know, these hands could change. We know we're getting solid black gloved hands. We've seen them before with Kane. We've seen them before with, uh, we're, we're getting them with the Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan. So maybe they'll put those hands in there if they want to, to have the solid black gloves. If they don't want to and they just want to keep the Undertaker mold with just painted on, it's not that big of a deal. It's completely fixable and you could just switch out hands with another figure. But it is something I wanted to plug in the video and show to you guys just in case you didn't notice it before. But this is a figure I am hyped for, but that is an inaccuracy or a little tweaked problem that we could fix. Next up, guys, is probably the biggest issue that I've seen, and it's got to be the fan vote Adam Cole, right? It's not in the War Games gear. What the hell? I wanted to make it. I mean, this is an absolute travesty. I'm just kidding. It's all jokes aside, but I had to plug this in the video because you guys know as well as I do that the uh, War Games attire lost by a, a, a measly 2.8%, and I really wanted the War Games gear, and we didn't get it, Brad. We didn't get it. I'm going to show you guys how you can make your own War Games Adam Cole. You're going to have to have some parts. We're going to do that in a video coming up, but damn, I would have liked to seen this thing, man. We really needed that out. Yeah, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. All right. I had to mention it, though. Next up, guys, we have the two-pack with Triple H. Now, this one's not even worth mentioning, to be honest with you, but I did want to put it in the video. You guys will notice in this in this two-pack with Triple H, he is going to have the uh, the smaller knee pads. Now, the, are, they are not accurate whatsoever. He's supposed to have the very large knee pads because around this era, throughout his whole career, Triple H has pretty much worn the large knee pads. Now, I don't care because I like the smaller knee pads for articulation and things, but if you're going with an accuracy issue, then he needs to have the large knee pads, and that's something I wanted to plug in the video just for shits and gigs. Now, coming up, guys, we are finishing it up with some basics. Now, these are about the WrestleMania basics that we're going to be getting, and all of them have some issues. Now, they are basics, but they are worth mentioning. So, first off, shout out to D Freedom 30 for this information. WrestleMania 35 basic Andrade right here, you guys will see in the comparison. It says it features kick pads instead of flat boots, and then the left boot should be white. You guys can see Andrade's attire is like a back and forth thing where it's like black and white and black and white and black and white and obviously the Andrade figure should have a left white kick pad but I guess they couldn't do that so it is in black so it's again not a huge issue but if you wanted this gear it is inaccurate you could switch out the left kick pad with another figure that has white kick pads if you really wanted to fix it but you know it is it is what it is if you wanted to buy the figure the right way and you don't switch parts that is kind of frustrating next up is going to be Ricochet from the same set and it is missing its belt and laces on the crotch you guys can see it has a solid black crotch what is good about this figure is that the sleeves are accurate 
accurate. The head sculpt is nice and everything like that. It is inaccurate when looking at the belt and the crotch piece. Up next, guys, and I think this is the last figure in the video. I can't remember if that is the case. But here we have WrestleMania 36, The Fiend. And this figure right here is inaccurate. It says the hair is too light, the pants are too dark, and he features kick pads, which is obvious by the photos. You guys can see he has, like, light blonde hair. His pants are way too dark compared to the image. And then he does have kick pads when The Fiend has never worn kick pads. He always wears the boots with the boot covers. So that is also something right there. But, so yeah, guys, I think that is all the issues that I could find. I may be missing some, so if I missed out on some, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really, really appreciate it. These are just the ones that came to my skull when I was trying to think about it and run through it all. I may make a video on some figures that we didn't see at Ringside Fest. You guys can let me know what you think about that. But before we get out of here, guys, I do want to give a huge shout-out to somebody from our last video. Remember, guys, if you want a shout-out in a future video, be sure to comment down in the comment section below and leave us a like. So this comment, ironically enough, comes from Just Johnny, and he says, this should have been called the John edition of Action Figure Surgery. John Cena, John Morrison, Dwayne Johnson. And I thought that was a hilarious comment. And not only that, guys, but look at the name. Just Johnny. So Just Johnny with John Cena, John Morrison, and Dwayne Johnson. So we had John Action Figure Surgery. I thought that was pretty creative and funny right there. So I wanted to plug that in and showcase that, that comment right there. So definitely leave me a comment down below, guys. But I appreciate you guys so very much for checking out the video. Let me know what you think of all these problems down in the comment section below. I'd really, really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. You crossed the line, I've been